Hi everyone, it's Laura here for Studio Katia and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create an easy scene card with the Cobby the Super Bear stamp set. As a first step I started working on my image. This will be the focal point of today's card and is from the Cobby the Super Bear stamp set. I am stamping it with black hybrid ink on some Nina Solar White 110 pounds cardstock and I will be coloring it with my Spectrum Norm markers. I did some simple 3 marker shading today. Right now I am adding shadows to Kobe's costume using my IG8 marker, so this is a cool grey marker, because I want the costume to look black. I will then blend that out with the IG6 marker and I left some space for the highlights that I will be filling in with my IG4 marker. And as you can see, when I don't get a nice blending from the start, I go back and forth with my markers because while the paper is wet basically from the alcohol and pigment in the marker, it's easier to blend them together. And also by adding multiple layers, it's easier to achieve a nice contrast and get some nice and deep shadows. I am adding my shadows as if the light is on the top left of the screen, so you can see my highlights are on the left part of the image and my darkest shadows are on the right side of the image. And in order to get a nice feeling of dimension, I am also following the shape of the image when I'm adding my shadows. For the boots, the cape and the inner part of the logo on Kobe's chest, I decided to use some reds. I started with my darkest red, which is the DR7 marker, and I'm using it to build my shadows. I'm then blending it out with the DR6 marker and you see those little triangles that I drew on the... Those are meant to represent and render the folds in the cape. So whenever I felt that the cape was folding away from me, I drew in one little triangle and I am now blending them out with my mid-tone marker, which again is the DR6. For my highlights I used the CR8 marker and I am coloring the entire area with it, so I am going also over the areas that I had colored with the DR6 and the DR7 marker. And this is because the CR8 is a little bit of a warmer red compared to the ones that I used so far, so I am using this technique called glazing in order for my reds to look like they belong together. For Kobe himself I used some warm greys, so I started by saturating my paper with the BG1 marker, which will be my highlight shade. I then went in with the BG2 marker and colored most of the area, just leaving a little bit of a highlight in that original BG1 marker. And finally I am deepening the shadows with my BG3 marker. In order to get a nice blend, I'm going to blend the BG3 out first with the BG2 and then with the BG1. For the edge of the logo and the letter K, I used CT4 and CT1. And finally, for Cobby's muzzle, his cheeks and his paw, I used FS9, FS4 and FS2. After I was done with the coloring, I went ahead and I die cut the image with the coordinating dies to the Kobe the Super Bear stamp set using my sidekick machine. And then I could move on and start working on my background. For that, I die cut a piece of blue cardstock with the Darling Ribbon and Frames dies. And then I used my Distress Oxides in Faded Jeans, Chipped Sapphire and Black Suit to darken up the edges. I am using a blending brush by Ranger in order to apply my Distress Oxides to the panel and get a nice and soft transition. And as you can see, I am not blending the inks over the entire surface, but I am leaving a spot as is. And that will be where I will have my focal point in my sky, and you will see that later on. 
So I started by first blending my faded jeans, which will be the lightest color. I then darkened up the edges with chipped sapphire. And then using a different brush, I'm going to add some black soot distress oxide to the very edges of this panel. And because I started with some colored cardstock as my base, the ink blending process was really quick. Once I was done blending my inks, I added some stars with my Nouveau Mica Mists in Antique Gold. I sped up the drying process with a heat gun. And then I decided that I wanted to frame this panel a little bit. So what I did was I die cut my sky background with one of the dies in the dotted patterns set 3 dies. And then I die cut some black cardstock to an A2 size using the dotted rectangle in the Darling Ribbon and Frames die set. In order to bring even more attention to the focal point of my card, which will be Kobe the Bear, I decided to use the Light Race Tensil by Studio Katia together with my Nouveau Mousse in Lemon Sorbet. I first worked my mousse on my glass mat in order to soften it up a little bit and to warm it up and then I applied it through my stencil. And you can already see that I got a little bit of a smudge of mousse on the bottom right portion of the card outside the stencil but that's not a problem because that area will be covered later on. And with hindsight, it would have made more sense to start from the background and then color the image, so that while I was doing the coloring, the mousse would have had some time to dry. But in this case, it didn't take very long at all for the mousse to completely set, so there wasn't a lot of waiting time for me. And also, when you work with mousses, make sure to wash your stencil and your spatula right away. At this point, I could go ahead and start assembling my card. So I adhered the sky panel onto my A2 black card base. And then I used a trick that I learned from my friend Tracy. She is one of the design team members at Studio Katia. And she shared a card where she used this technique on the Studio Katia blog some time ago. So what I did is I used the coordinating dies to the Whimsical Town stamp set to die cut some more black cardstock. And then I arranged them on my card front in order to create a fun cityscape. I adhered Cobby in the center of my focal point there where I have the light rays. And then I moved on to my sentiment. For that I did some heat embossing with white embossing powder and I used one of the sentiments in the Kobe the Super Bear stamp set. This one reads have a super day. So I prepped my card with anti-static powder, I stamped the sentiment with Versa marking, and then I coated it with embossing powder and melted the embossing powder with my heat gun. I mounted everything on a top folding A2 card base and this is the final result. I really love the way Kobe pops out of this card thanks to the contrast between the red cape and the blue background and thanks to the stenciled focal point too. And that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you to create with the Kobe the Super Bear stamp set. Don't forget to subscribe to the Studio Katia channel for more inspiration. Thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.